show you with the speech micro what? Instant satisfaction. Quick results. 30 minutes or less. This is a culture that we're living in today and not one I mind living in. Computer on my desk, iPhone in my pocket, the world at my fingertips. However, I find myself asking, does it come at a cost? Cell phone signals, Wi-Fi signals, microwave ovens, radio waves, satellites, instant communication? Are there any health hazards to all this modern and constantly evolving technology? With such a wide area to research, I decided to focus my investigation and informative pre presentation on microwave ovens and Wi-Fi. Before I could begin my rigorous investigation, I realized I was getting quite hungry and couldn't work without some serious thinking food. Concerned for safety, dorms, the dorm rooms are not allowed to have hot plates in the rooms, so I grabbed myself a can of mixed vegetable soup and threw it in the microwave. Now that I was full from what I thought was a nutritious meal, <clears throat> I began to wonder what the hazards of microwave ovens are. If you're like me, you'll want to slow down for a minute and try to understand what microwaves are in the first place. According to Robert Johnston from the Hansen Center for Space Sciences in a publication from the University of Texas in Dallas, in 2004, he states a summary explaining that, quote, microwaves are a form of electrical magnetic energy that changes how molecules react with each other. But to understand what microwaves are, we have to think of them in a form of a spectrum. Following that same research by Dr. Robert Johnson, we look at the spectrum gra graph demonstrating how gamma rays and wavelengths react differently to how strong the microwave exposures are. For example, gamma rays are the highest level of microwaves produced at the proportion of a nuclear reaction. <clears throat> Further down on the spectrum, you have ultraviolet rays. Ultraviolet rays cause sunburn, an obvious visual reaction to the biological effects that microwave wavelengths have on the human body. But the question is still, oh, and even further down on the scale, you have microwave ovens, and with that, you have Wi-Fi and cell phone radiation. But the question still remains, how does it work? We know that it changes how molecules react. So what happens in a microwave oven is it makes the water and fat molecules bump and push against each other, causing friction, like rubbing your hands against each other. The friction creates heat and it slowly cooks the food from the inside out. Doesn't sound too awful, right? Turns out that having an oven in my house that will explode when there's not food in it kind of makes me a little nervous. Luckily, though, the government does determine how microwave radiation is allowed and limited. The limits are determined for the United States according to the World Health Organization as, quote, unless microwave radiation begins cooking human organs, it is believed that it cannot have harmful biological health effects. Anything less than that is understood to be harmless. This is according to the World Health Organization. Basically, what they're saying is cover and cook kidneys for 30 years or until desired tenderness is achieved. I deci decided to turn to who I thought were the experts. Again, I looked at the World Health Organization who said outright, quote, there is no adverse health reactions from low level long-term exposure, end of quote. This was stated by Dr. Michael Repicholi in his final report on the hazards of microwaves emitted from microwave ovens Wi-Fi towers and cell phone towers. With all good news comes a controversy after all. Evidently, Dr. Michael Repicholi, who conducted that report, used to work for the cell phone agencies in Britain, campaigning and lobbying for cell phone towers to be used. Therefore, it's easy to see that his conclusion was not independently based. But there are other beliefs about microwaves. Sir William Stewart, chairman of the British Health Protection Agency gave an interview to British reporters in 2003 where he commented on the published review by the World Health Organization as quote, they're wrong. There is scientific evidence that proves Wi-Fi emitted radiation is hazardous to health and I think it should be removed from the market until studied further. 
That is end of quote. And once again, that was from Sir William Stewart, chairman of the British Health Protection Agency under Prime Minister Tony Blair. But I continued to dig deeper into this problem. I had to answer all these looming questions that I had. If microwave ovens are so low on the scale and microwaves change how molecules react, how does it change my food and what scientific evidence is there that it's unhealthy for me to consume? My answer came from US researcher William Culp, who wrote in, in a forensic research document for the ARIC Research Operations in 1996, stating that Cold War research in the Soviet Union had proved the dangers of microwave ovens. Quote, people who ingested microwave foods show a statistically higher increase of stomach and intestinal cancers plus a general degeneration of peripheral cellular tissues, that is, your eyes and vision, and a gradual breakdown of the function of the digestive and excretory systems. Another quote from that report is, quote, eating microwave food causes loss of memory and concentration and could result in emotional instability and a decrease in intelligence. 30, or 30 years before this article was published by William Culp, an article was published in the Soviet Union that, that proved that Soviet research was substantial enough that the Soviet Union altogether banned the sale and use of microwave ovens. In the recent decades, Federated Russia, along with Switzerland, along with Switzerland, Italy, and China, have lowered the maximum exposure <coughs> limits of microwave radiation in cell phone towers, Wi-Fi routers, and microwave ovens, 1,000 times lower than the United States. A more recent study examining the effects of radiation frequency emitted by Wi-Fi routers and microwave ovens on the human heart, the conclusion was this, quote, unequivocal evidence that microwave frequency radiation affects the heart at non-thermal levels before it starts cooking it that are well below federal safety guidelines, end of quote. This is according to Dr. Magna Havas of Trent University. In light of this evidence, the nation of Salzburg banned the, the use of Wi-Fi routers in government facilities and in schools altogether. But to recap, we have to ask, what does this all boil down to? We now have a better <coughs> understanding of what microwaves are, and we see that they are everywhere and almost unavoidable. Honestly, all we can do is cho choose to avoid them the best we can. We have heard from both sides of the argument that they are not hazardous to biological health and that they are hazardous to biological health. With this knowledge in mind, if you desire to know more on the subject, I recommend next time you're on a computer, simply type into your browser search bad waves, and then you'll get a numerous sources on the arguments and scientific evidence to support, support each perspective. Thinking of all these different microwaves all around me, I've decided I just gotta buckle down and pick my poison. I guess this is a good week to stop, quit, to quit sniffing glue, because the microwaves are unavoidable. Thank you very much.